On the modestly sized but very deep Navarino Bay sits the town of Pylos, formerly called Navarin, located in the Peloponnese Peninsula in Greece. The bay is conveniently sheltered from the open sea by the surrounding landmass, creating a calm refuge for ships used since ancient time. In 1827, this bay saw a major battle in which the combined fleets of Russia, Great Britain, and France destroyed Ottoman and Egyptian squadrons. It was written into the history as the Battle of Navarino, and since that time, Navarin has been a traditional name for ships in the Russian fleet. First a sailing corvette, then a battleship that went down in the Battle of Tsushima. The next ship in line to claim the name was supposed to be a new Ismail-class battlecruiser, which was under construction between 1914 and 1916. At the same time, a project for a new battleship armed with 16-inch guns was being developed. However, all work was stopped due to the eruption of the Russian Revolution. Now, more than 100 years later, our developers at Wargaming have revived this battleship project. We brought the ship to life in virtual metal, giving her a modernization likely to have been implemented in the 1930s, and bestowed upon her the battlecruiser's originally planned name. Today, I'm ready to present to you Soviet Tier 9 battleship Navarit. Battleship Navarin has 12 406mm main battery guns. This large battery provides her with a high salvo weight, and few opponents will be able to quickly recover from the damage she can dish out. Another important advantage is that her aft main battery turrets can rotate 360 degrees. At the same time, the enhanced firing range and accuracy of the ship's numerous secondary guns will make blood run cold in the veins of hostile destroyers and cruisers. All of this is great, of course, but despite her good concealment, this battleship is relatively slow and only has a modest HP pool. So while in battle, it's worth keeping the mediocre accuracy of her main battery guns in mind. Now taking all this into account, let's proceed to the most suitable tactics. The ideal situation for Navarin's captain is to engage in battles at close and medium ranges, to fully make use of her available armament from an effective firing distance. For example, you can sneak up on your opponent or spring an ambush and then make use of the ship's fast damage control team to make the necessary repairs after the resulting skirmish. Keep in mind, the limited charges of this consumable prevents the ship from overstaying her welcome over time. Let's talk about upgrades. We recommend the following. Main Armaments Modification 1 or Auxiliary Armaments Modification 1. Damage Control System Modification 1. Aiming Systems Modification 1 or Secondary Battery Modification 1. Damage Control System Modification 2. Concealment System Modification 1. Main Battery Modification 3 or Auxiliary Armaments Modification 2. Now it's time for the traditional Armada raffle. This time the prize is Battleship Navarin, a commander with 10 skill points, a commemorative flag, a port slot, signals, credits, and expendable economic bonuses. It'll go to one of our subscribers who likes the video and recalls what year the famous Battle of Navarino took place. Leave a comment with the right answer, your nickname, and your in-game server below. We'll announce the name of the winner in the next Armada episode. Fair wins. And good luck, Captains.